Joining us now are the stars of two of the new upcoming series, Jenna Elfman of the ensemble comedy Accidentally on Purpose, and LL Cool J and Chris O'Donnell from the drama spinoff NCIS Los Angeles. First things first, I was talking about seeing you at a Nick game more than a couple of years ago, and you were asking me during the commercial break, what's going on with the Lakers? Lakers didn't play last night, right? It was... Cleveland and Orlando. Orlando, Orlando. Orlando, Orlando. Orlando. Yeah, by so, a point. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. Crazy stuff going on. Wow. All right, tell me about your show first. What, what's the notion behind it? Uh, a woman in her late 30s has a bit of a one-night stand fling with a guy in his early 20s, and five weeks later finds out she's pregnant. <laughs> Let's take a look. It's getting more complicated! <laughs> What are you doing here? I thought I'd bring you lunch. I made you a spinach salad. It's full of iron. That'll be good for the ba -ba 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 -ba. for the baby. What? Why doesn't anyone know what ba -ba 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 means? Baby? Yeah, she's having my baby. Cool, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, who is this clown? I'm Zach. I'm the father. What? I've got to update my Facebook status. So, very important question. What night? Monday nights at 8.30 on Dude. CBS. <laughs> You're there in the middle of the Monday night Thank juggernaut yeah. of fabulous comedy shows. Yeah, I'm very happy. That's got to feel good. Yeah, it's very exciting. The other thing that's cool about this is you all have these new shows on CBS, and CBS is not is in one of those very fruitful times. And the shows are really strong, the platform is strong, there are a lot of viewers out there. You've got to feel pretty confident going into the season that things could fall your way. Yeah, I feel confident and excited because I love the show and I love the feeling of feeling proud about it and, and I'm excited for everyone to see it. And then combine that with like being on a sturdy, stable network that's growing and doing so well on a night of great comedy is just, it feels great. There you go. Well, yeah. now you've just completely jinxed yourself and you're doing so, we'll nope. see. That won't work that way. All right, guys. You both did uh, a couple of shows this year, sort yes. of testing out the premise of NCIS going to a, a different location. Uh, yeah. What was that like for you? It was now, a lot you of fun. knew going in that this was had the potential of being picked up. Yes, yeah, yes. Okay. We knew it was a spinoff, and it was a backdoor pilot. And uh, the, the Office of Special Projects in Los Angeles is a special unit within, special division within NCIS, which deals with the deadliest and most dangerous threats to America. And uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a good way to do it, though, coming in and doing two episodes of their show, because we had the luxury of working with their crew. You know, it's yeah. tough when you're doing a pilot sometimes to put together a new crew and, and do the show. Yeah. Their crew's been together for six years. That was a, a real luxury. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's funny to sit in the, you know, the table read at the beginning. There's the six of us and the six of them. We're kind of looking at each other like, thanks for letting us be here. Yeah. It was, it was yeah. a strange Because they really have figured out this is a very they have interesting great show that came along. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't have a lot of uh, hype in the, in the front side. No, it's amazing. I mean, and they're, now, they're over really the last several years, it's become years, one yeah. of the top ten shows. Yeah. 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 Now, is there extra pressure as a result of that because of well, it's expectations? Not that it's, it's not that it's extra pressure, but we definitely aren't taking it for granted. I, you know, I had a great conversation with Mark Harmon regarding the franchise, respecting the franchise and respecting uh, all of the fans out there and the people who are enjoy the original show. Right. So we just want to uh, hopefully make our contribution to the franchise in a great way. Let's so take a look. Okay. It's time to move. Again? Three times in the last 18 months. It's four. I don't know. I, I feel like someone's watching me. It's probably that Russian girl you told me about. You ever gonna settle down, G? I was the guy in the passenger seat. A lot of guys get us yeah, mixed up. Yeah, with the I'll muscles. Bet. I'll we, bet. we go to the gym together. With people the are like, yeah. wait, you Chris, you LG? I'm like, yeah, and will, the now will you only act or will there ever be a musical interlude? No, I, I, my focus and commitment is to bring the character to life. You know, um, I'm not focused on There's no on backstory? There's no, no, it's not necessary. <laughs> Easy smoking. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, I'm guilty of having a couple of careers. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to focus on acting and really focus on trying to do the best job we can do with the show. There you go. Only uh, the show. Chris O'Donnell and Jenna Alfman, thank you so much for thank being you. here thank this you. morning. Thank Congratulations. You.